Yeah, you completely right, you. Mike is right as well. Like I said, that's the only thing this team was missing last year was veterans of that was worth a damn. Like, I'm a, let me rephrase that: veterans that were worth a damn. Yeah, and veterans that hold weight, like their name hold weight. Like a lot of times, mm-hmm. people like wonder, like, why do y'all care? Like when I was like, we need Calais Campbell. Like when they were first saying, like Calais Campbell is coming to visit the Falcons. I'm like, lock the building. Terry Fontenot, y'all do whatever y'all can to not let this guy leave with Atlanta without a contract. Like, I was like, do everything in your power to pay him. And everybody was like, why are you making a big deal? You know what I'm saying? He's 37 or 38, but it's like, he has 99 sacks, career sacks in his Those career. Are more he, he, he's a, a guy that's made the all-decade team. Like, he's one of those guys that's going to be a future Hall of Famer. And when the White Freeney walked in that building in 2016, it made a difference. And it's the same with Calais Campbell. He's still a guy that's playing at a high level, but you guys got to think about it. Like it's one thing to get fussed at or, you know, a coach to tell you to do something this way. But it's a totally different thing when you got an all decade player or a future Hall of Fame player telling you do it this way. And I got the results, you know what I'm saying? It just it just makes a difference, man. It's the same thing when we had Julio Jones here. When he was in that locker room with those wide receivers, it's one thing to have a Alameda Zacchaeus, no knock on Alameda Zacchaeus, but having a Julio Jones, somebody that's done it at the highest level, that's been an all pro, a first team all pro, you know, those players look up to those guys. I see in the chat, somebody said John Abraham. He was another guy when he came to Atlanta. Like those guys, those big name guys that's done it at the highest level, I don't care what you say. I say it all the time. When certain players talk, I listen. When Grady Jarrett says something in the locker room, trust me, those players listen. When Julio Jones talked in that locker room, even though he was a guy who, you know, didn't talk a whole lot, when he spoke, people listened. And I feel like Calais Campbell is one of those guys where people already talk about just his presence. He's an enormous, a giant. Everybody's talking about how big he is and just how his personality, it takes over the room. You know what I'm saying? In that locker room, I really feel like his leadership is going to be huge. And that's why I keep saying to me, even over Jesse Bates, I love Jesse Bates and thinks he's a great that he's a great player. But I really keep I keep saying the biggest signing for the Atlanta Falcons was Calais Campbell because of his leadership. You could just feel his leadership and just his words. Like people don't realize how much power your words have, your encouragement has. Just think about like we look at these interviews and these podcasts. And trust me, as you heard Desmond Ritter say when they asked him, you know, have you heard about, you know, when the draft, everybody was saying the Falcons was going to take a quarterback. He talked about like him having a TV. Well, trust me, he heard the things that Calais Campbell had to say about him. And you want those leaders that's going to feed confidence into these young guys. And I really feel like what Calais Campbell saying, he could see this team winning 12 or 13 games. And him mm-hmm. in the locker room, you know, rubbing off on these guys, rubbing shoulders with these guys, I really feel like that's going to make a, you know, a huge difference when you have somebody that's done it at the highest level. Like it's not somebody just talking. As K Styles talked about when we had guys like Stephen Means on our team, no disrespect. You talked about him being one of those guys that were encouraged and had the pom poms out. Yeah, he was a, you know, he was one of those guys that was going to encourage the team, but. His game, you know, he couldn't back it up with his four, game. Six, eight. Yeah, Who they, do we appreciate? Steve, yeah. it means, yay. It's levels to it. So that's what I'm saying. It's levels to Bruh. it. When you got somebody that's done it, these guys are going to actually listen. You know, it's one thing to have somebody that's talking a big game. No disrespect to Steven Means because he did, you know, he did his thing when he was here. But mm-hmm. when you say Calais Campbell, everybody in the league ears is to the ground. When he, when he speaks, everybody listens. 